Starting with my with the name of Allah, the most compassionate, I am conveying my greetings to everyone. Hope everyone is fine and healthy uh, along with your daily activity. So let us we are today discussing about some uh, more uh, f mm, uh, factors, uh, sorry, some more tips uh, that if you utilize these tips, definitely it will bring a positive changes in your life. And that is uh, the second portion of how to develop the personality in, in lecture number uh, 11. So uh, in lecture number 10, we also discussed some tips of, uh, that helps you in developing your personalities. But the, here, the remaining tips we will discuss in lecture number 11. Here we also are going to share with you some of the tips that might uh, uh, help you. And I am giving you the guarantee if you follow all these tips in your life, definitely will change your positive changes uh, in your attitudes, in your personalities. And you will be reflected and projected in the mind of the people, very great person. So try to just uh, follow all these steps it is very helpful to every one of you so let us uh, uh, talking about some of the remaining tips that is for example be yourself remember what do you mean by be yourself how that be yourself can help you to project in a great person in minds of the other person and, and to make the mind the mindset up of the other persons a positive regarding you so once you always look up to other people to take an inspirations from but you should still remain your own unique yourself it means that don't copy and paste the uh, the acting in the um, the you don't imitate and copy and paste the activity of other being like for example don't make yourself like an actor who is acting the act of another people because in such a way you may lose your you may lose your uniqueness and you may lose your uh, attractions in your body when you are doing something so be yourself be very simple and be in your good natures in your natural nature do the things as 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 it happens to you so be yourself and an original is always uh, worth more than a copy never try to modeling into another person but instead work on a being the best version of yourself so because each of us are different so I am different, you are different, and all the people who are living in society, we are different. If you would like to copy the actions, uh, uh, every individual, and we would like to copy and paste, imitate among the peoples, it means we are, we are not uh, original in our works. When somebody is not original in his work, he is, uh, he is losing his originality, and that is affecting the personalities. Uh, so be yourself, go ahead with your own nature of work, uh, own natures. Uh, be a natural person act like uh, it happens in your natures because uh, if you're overacting if you're copying and pasting the acts in uh, acts of the other people it might uh, depress you and you may lose a confidence in that might uh, negatively affects your personality and you will be projected in mind of the other people's so when you are doing anything be a nature be a nature do it in a good nature do it in your own uh, original way uh, leave the copy paste and uh, being original in every sort of activity it is reflecting the uh, uh, a very good projected uh, you will be very uh, reflected and projected very good in minds of the other peoples so that's why if you would like to be a great person a great personality so be original and uh, second point that might help you in your uh, in your developing your personality is work on your body language so body language is if uh, you know uh, which which is a sort of a communications that is uh, a nonverbal communication it really affect the personality of a person so work on your body language uh, how can you improve it uh, do it in a best way so body language is just as important for your personality as your verbal communication skills that much verbal communication I mean there is strong influence in communications that you communicate the idea and thoughts to the other people in a right way in a very good uh, best manner to the other people and you project um, yourself in the mind of people in a positive sense that such a communicator this person is now that is verbal as well as it's very important to be um, to be uh, uh, to use your body language as well it's very important so it tells you a lot about yourself and helps people in making uh, accurate guess and supposition estimation about your everything. So including you, or including the way you walk, sit, take, uh, talk or eat leaves an impact over the people around you. 
and having a correct body language can do wonder for your personalities how you talk how you sit how you eat how you uh, walk these all affects uh, uh, these all affects your uh, personalities uh, if you are doing these things in a normal positions uh, eating is in a normal positions walking in as a normal positions and talking is normal positions as well as your action and reaction it leaves a very big effects and impacts in mind of uh, the uh, audience in mind of the other people so they may project a very good uh, good uh, uh, and positive sense regarding you so try to use a good body language and try to improve the body language in a communication it is very important for developing of your personalities so walk in a upright positions with the shoulders straight and do not droop sit in a relaxed posture and make always eye contact while speaking so it always makes a great you in a unique in a in a communications and art will make you a unique in the uh, among the people uh, to whom you are talking or with whom you are in communicating so uh, just if you are walking so walk in a right positions upright uh, upright positions it means don't droop yourself uh, in a droop means don't go in a in a don't walk in a position that you are not straight out so uh, sit in a very relaxed position so some people are sitting in front of the other people it's other yeah uh, so they no, they're not sitting in a normal position so the audience or the or their um the the peoples who are uh in communicating with such person they think that the person in not in a relaxed position is depressed that's why his sitting style is not good enough so your eye contacts uh, and uh, is very much important while you are speaking to a gatherings so your eye contact it itself it means that you are engaging every one of them with you and uh, you have a very straightforward positions while you are speaking to somebody and your full attention is given to the audience now you are at uh, this uh, sort of body language activity will definitely attract uh, the others toward you and other will be thinking that this person having a great personality is how he communicate how he talk how he sit how he walk so all things are the best so uh, that makes a, uh, that that makes you distinguish among the other uh, so everyone might like you and everyone might love you so they might like like your style love your style so definitely uh, work on your body language itself it's a tips for personality development sir very passive very uh, unorganized walkings you are you are you are setting you are talkings in your setting positions uh, in your in your walking positions in your eye contact position is not in a normal positions it is deflecting uh, it is the rejecting it it's a uh, um, defaming your personalities try to keep yourself away from this uh, be in our upright positions and sit in a good position posture and having a eye contact directly with your audience it might these tips will help you to improve your personalities now another point which is uh, very important in regarding the personality that is be courteous it means when you are talking use the polite sentence polite words using a polite language itself uh, a very soft and polite and a sweet in a very great language itself is reflecting uh, you are being reflected and projected in minds of the people that you are the greatest one and you are the greater personality. If you are using the harsh word, bad words, every moment you are insulting the, the people, you are saying something uh, devaluing the devalues you, the norms and culture and other value, religious and uh, values of the societies and you degrading the uh, degrading the, uh, the, the humanities and the humans in the society. Of course it all affects your personality but uh, in the opposite of that if you are using a great sentence you are very courteous very uh, polite manner you are talking and you are expressing your thoughts in a very right sense so it, uh, it all uh, it all doing all these things is directly it's uh, you are injecting something uh, great impacts on the mind of your audience and they will uh, have uh, good thoughts and good feelings about you and they may, may, uh, they may always reflect you as a great person in their mind and you will be a great personality for them so being courteous is never out of fashion and is well appreciated and very respected by everyone being humble and greet everyone with a smile it is uh, something which bring a positive changes in your personality so never shy away from helping or supporting your friends and being available to them whenever they need you and it will also give your personality a confident boost be humble 
and down to, uh, to your junior and senior alike it means that giving uh, full attention to both senior and junior alike and you are the soil of their feet and uh, you are always present when when they need you uh, when they need you um, and you are always present and available in order to help them in a crisis moment of their lives so whatever if you are present in a crisis moment of life among the peoples it gives a uh, great uh, imp uh, impressions uh, uh, it projects a very great personality in the audience uh, minds that is a great person that in time of sub hardship and such a difficult situation and in a disastrous moment of life he is being with us so if you would like to uh, keep yourself down from the others in the society so definitely you will be a great person in the mind of the person if you would like to account yourself that I am the biggest one I am the others should follow me and others should mm, uh, come uh, come after me by any means and by any force and by any uh, uh, by 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 my no means. So that is what uh, is not a good impressions uh, you will have in the minds of the other peoples. So be courteous and be very humble and using a good sentence and being very smiling in your communication. It makes you distinguish among your uh, other uh, family members and uh, in the societies. Uh, another uh, very good uh, uh, points to be remember here being as in a for your development of personality is a being a good listener so nature has given us one tongue and two ears it means we have one tongue two ears so we should hear twice as much as we speak so the better you listen the better other will listen to you so most people do not listen with the intent to understand but they listen with the intent to reply so being a good listeners اگر ما یک شنیده خوب باشیم ای یک تاثیر خوب داره به خاطر پیشرفتی به خاطر بهبودی شخصیت یک انسان یعنی همیشه باید ما گوش بگیریم که دیگرها چی میگه به دیگر اگر ما بسیار زشت باشیم به دیگر گوش نبگیریم هر چیزی که از ما در ذهن ما هستن او باید دیگرها او را به پیش ببره ای هیچ وقت نمیتاند که امی قسم فعالیت ها یک تصویر و یک تصورات مثبت در 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 فکری دیگارا شما پیدا کنین در نزد دیگارا به شما یک شخصت دروب درست به حساب نمی برین به این خاطر ما باید گوش شنیده باشیم که بشنیم دیگارا چی میگه و کوشش کنیم که مشکلات دیگارا را باز حلم بکنیم به این خاطر ما میتونیم یک فرد یونیک و یک فرد بسیار به مثال در جامعه باشیم و چیزهایی که بسیار مهم هستن امین نقاطی که اگر ما امروز خواندیم در موردی پیشرفت شخصیت انسان یا شخصیت جد انسان اگر شما این را تاقیب بکنین ما گرنتی میتیم که در زندگی تان یک تغییر مثبت میده شخصیت تان اگر صد در صد نباشه ولی تا حد زیادی اندازه میتونین شما یک ای بهتری انسان شوید اگر شما این رقاط را در نظر بگیرین so being a good listener is a key of uh, develop uh, is a key factor for developing of the personalities so good leaders are always good listeners and good listeners are always good profiters and they always get the profit because they are always listening to the others if you listen to the other they will keep in touch with you and they might support you in all sort of the situations but if you are not in a good listeners nobody will come close to you and you will be losing more customers and consumers in the markets and you will not be very much liked and loved by the people so that's why for developing your personalities you should be a good learners sorry a good listeners uh, so when somebody talks to you listen with interest and give them all the attention and importance so maintain a direct eye contact and do not get distracted by surroundings and it help you in knowing a better deal about peoples and, att uh, and attending them in a better way so following all these steps will might help you 100% and bring you positive changes in your personalities 
So be a little fan and being very aggressive, being very moody, being with a depressed mood is almost not likable and lovable for other people. So be, uh, be a little, uh, have a little fun when you are communicating with somebody, when you are talking with somebody and use some harmonious language. I mean that humorous things should be included uh, as a fun but it should not be in a sense just to degrade and insult the other but it should be in a sense that you are want to just make a good uh, a good a very good social interaction uh, in the, the in the environment a, a bit little bit funny so being uh, able to find a humorous side and otherwise is a terrible situations everybody loves the person who can make them laugh and bring funny perspective to the regular things in life so being a little fan will add you a bit uh, and will help you a bit um, uh, to be liked by the other people and loved by other people's in developing of their personalities as well as meet new people so meeting of new people definitely it will affect your life I mean, uh, lifestyles so meeting new friends and new uh, new and different kinds of people is a healthy step toward expanding your horizons and exposing yourself to a large number of things in the societies so you get an opportunity to know more about the other's culture and lifestyle and it significantly have positive impact on your personalities so you will definitely would have a very great um, uh, a very great uh, impact it will have in your life if you are meeting new people because new things would be learned from them new fashions you know, lifestyles and culture will come to your life and you would be uh, a more impressive one if you adopt them the good from them and you remove the bad which you have already so that's why meeting new friends uh, meeting new people in your life brings them in your life that might help you in developing of your personalities uh, so the next thing that is very important that is think about think always positive uh, thoughts to yourself and others it means uh, if you would like to change your life and if you like to be uh, be, uh, be positive in points of the others people just you have to think positive because if you are thinking positive regarding yourself so might people people definitely will uh, uh, look to you as a positive angle as well so your thoughts and your action both need to be positive in order to have an attractive personality the way we think has a lot of effects on the way we how we act and positive thoughts inside mind give you a confident boost and enhanced personalities یک فکری مثبت می تواند که ما شما را داخل داشته باشیم به ما یک اعتماد بهتر بده به خاطر بهتر سازی شخصیت انسان situations and circumstances in life in life can always be full of highs and lows but in order to adopt positive outlook towards life you need to find the higher side of the things and focus on the good parts of that ما در زندگی امرای گناگون حالت رو برو میشیم خوب بد کوشش کنیم که دایی کدام بخش زندگی که خوب ما باشد سری و نمو سایر ما فوکست تکمرکز بکنیم و امو بخش از ما توصیح و پیشرفت بتیم ما میتانیم در زندگی یک مثبت تغییر بیاریم حتی شخص سازی به شکل درست ما بکنیم در جامعه و ما یک انسان مفید و بهترین باشیم به این خاطر میگیم که همیشه ما اید فکر مثبت می باشد اگر ما فکر مثبت داشته باشیم شما یقین داشته باشین ما برای شما گارانتی میدیم که یک فکر مثبت می تواند یک زندگی طولانی تر نظر به آنهای داشته باشد که فکر منفی داره یعنی اگر ما فکر مثبت داشتیم از بسیاری از مشکلات گوناگون ایرانی و می توانیم که ما مشکلات صحیح دور باشیم به این خاطر a positive thinking is always prolonging your life یعنی فکر مثبت زندگی انسان را طولانی تر می سازد Hamid Pesam, uh, know yourself, Khudra Bishnas. Uh, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdoms. Awal Khudra Bishnas ki, wakti ki Khudra Shnakti baz metani shuma yak shakhsat behtarin baashin. Agar azish khudi taan nadashtin, Khudra Bishikli drust, tasawur nakadin, taban shuma nemitanin dar fikri digara ham bau qisam yak tasviri daashta baashin ki mozbat baashat. So law of self-confidence isn't, uh, isn't a life sentence. can be learned, can be practiced, can be mastered and developed. Once you master everything in your life will change for better. 
So low self-confidence is not a life sentence that it will remain forever. This low self-confidence is affecting your personality. So it's a lot is not isn't is not a life sentence that it will remain with you. If you practice, if you learn, if you master, if you develop, so all these things will definitely change the positive life uh, changes in your life. It means that uh, keep this away from your mind that self-confidence would not remain you forever with you. So don't wait just everything will be right and perfect. There will be obstacles and there will be challenges. So what starts in each steps you take make you strong. Go ahead with it. Don't wait for the right one. Just don't wait for the perfectionisms. Go ahead with the right ones and what the challenges you are facing make yourself strong. Know yourself that you can do it. So this will give you a positivism to your to you and this positivism will reflects and projects in the minds of other people that such this person is a very challengeable, is a very great person, is always working for the great. So obviously before you get at developing something you need to know all about it first. The same goes with your personalities. Uh, one need to start with talking a good look, book or then analyzing their traits, strength and weakness and everything that needs to be worked upon and don't shy away from accepting your flaws and learn about yourself as much you can. یعنی که انسان غلطی داره از غلطی خود به شما قبول بکنید و غلطی را شما به حیث یک نقصی که یک مثلا یک کمبودی که شما دارین سرشان باید کار شد تا که شما امو کمبودی را از بین ببرین و میتونی یک انسان درست و یک انسان شخصیت بهترین باشین So never give up ایچ وقت شما توقف نتین ادامه بتین so winner never quit and quitter never wins. Hardest time leads to the greatest moments of life. And so learn and learn and keep on. So this will help you to bring a positive changes in your life. I give you the guarantee following these tips. It will definitely help you in developing of your personalities. So let us practice this in your life. See, this, see the difference after some times. And uh, you will be very happy with your life moments and you will be the great person among the people in unique and distinctive among your social groups so follow all these steps see the difference and share your difference what difference is and what positive change comes in your life besides this there are types of personalities which are uh, which we may mainly call that is uh, there are three types of personality one is called uh, uh, extroversion personality introversion and beaver personalities uh, Mainly uh, um, uh, extrovert personalities, the extrovert persons is outgoing and very sociable persons. Almost uh, people tend to, uh, towards either side. So extrovert personality is a type of person that they are very social people. They always keep yourself away from their family matters and they go outside and enjoying the outside with the friends uh, that is, uh, that is uh, extrovert types of people and very sociable people. Uh, while introvert peoples are always remaining imaginative and they are very quiet peoples and they are more interested in idea than interesting with peoples and they are opposite to extrovert. Uh, these people are always living in their own imaginary worlds. They are keeping themselves al in a long side when they are in a homes they live and they love to live in a long list. So these group includes for example teachers, scientists and thinkers and philosophers are always uh, those people who are introvert. They think uh, they will, for example, teachers study more, and scientists are always working more, doing research. Thinkers are doing the same, philosophers are doing the same. So these are those people who are introverts, and they always keep in touch with books. So they are not too much, so much outsider to enjoy the rest of the words, what's happening around the world. So that is introvert types of personalities. Eh? So in beavers, then it's in the middle of these two. So those people who are enjoying both parties are called imbibed personality. Sometimes they want to live with other people outside their rooms and sometimes they would like to live alone and they are the middle of mid mind personalities. So we have three types of people might be sociable which is loving to stay outside too much and there are some people who are always to be a, a live a lonely, lonely life and going ahead with your own life that is 
uh, introverts and you might see in, uh, you might see and you might have observed some people in the society they are in the middle of these two sometimes they are very outgoing social people and sometimes they keep themselves away from the social activities so they are ambivers so you might have experienced the three types of people in your life that is uh, ambivers that is introvert and that is extrovert ما گفتیم که این اکستروورت اشخاص بیرونگرا هستند همیشه در بیرون محیطی خوش می باشد در مجالس و این ارتباطات اجتماعی بسیار زیاد داشته می باشد خوش به این هستند که از دور از فامیل باشد در جامعه زیاد باشد و آوت گوینگ انسان هستند از لذت از زندگی بگوورد و باز اینتروورت که اشخاصی هستند که تنهایی را خوش داره می خواهند که یک جای بشینه در اوج کتاب بتانه مطالعه بکنه مثلا خوش نداره که مثلا بسیار آوت گوینگ باشه و در مجالی سو در مفاهیل خود اشتراک بکند بازو کی هستن انتروورت انسان هستن باز نوی سیوم که اصو بنام امبیورت یاد میشه باز اندیویرت کی هستن در میان اینه می دو نفر هستن گایی بیرونگرا می باشه گایی درونگرا بسای یعنی متفاوت مزاج داشته می باشد این سی نوع انواع شخصیت ما در جامعه می تانیم شما این ابزار بکنین so this is the types of personality in the previous uh, two lecture we talked that was the tips so try to follow these tips it might help you in your life and bring your positive changes so till the next uh, till next uh, lectures wish you all the best happy uh, have a happy moment of your lives thank you for your attentions allah hafiz